Black Oni. Welcome everybody to an episode of J Blaze Plays. I'm your host, J Blaze 06, and today I'm showing you some Black Ops 2 gameplay. Um, this is some gameplay from the theater mode. I didn't live record this, and this isn't a live face cam. This is just a regular face cam. Um, and I didn't really start off doing that well in this gameplay. Like this guy right here, like I could have killed him a lot sooner. Um, and I'm not like the best Black Ops 2 game player. Um, I think I'm pretty good at the game, but there's times where I'm, I just do terrible at this game. And there's times where I just like go completely ham. Like I'll go like 50 and 9 or, you know, some ridiculous number like that. But, you know, there's, there's certain times you'll play. And if you don't have people who are really good at the game, you'll, uh, on your team, you'll, you'll almost definitely do terrible. So it's usually a good idea to play with your teammates and it's usually a good idea to try to coordinate at least a little bit with people, even if you haven't met them or you don't know them. There's a bunch of little kids running around and like, oh, just making all these noises. But sometimes you'll get some really cool people. Uh, so try not to mute every person that you see uh, online because you never know. It might be me as one of those people. And this is me just completely fucking up. <laughs> that guy should have had me dead to rights a long time ago, but um, I went free. I went full retard mode there. Another kill. But you'll see me start doing a little bit. I haven't played this game in so long before I recorded this, so I had to get back into the swing of things. And I could have sworn I looked over there to see what was there. And I was looking at the, the cam, the kill cam, to see what happened. And it was like, oh, yeah, you looked over there, but you didn't look over there good enough, apparently. It's hot. Boom. I thought I hit him with that. I thought he was dead. And I, mi <laughs> I missed that, but... um. Yeah, I guess one of the easiest things I can do right now is answer a few questions that I've had. This can be a part of a commentary, part of a Q&A session. I'll be doing more Q&As the more questions I start getting. Um, most of the questions I get are mostly pertain to art or how I'm doing the videos or uh, certain things. But I will just go right into it anyway. Um, so I'll give a shout out to one of my viewers. Uh, his name is Sean Behan. And he asked me why I don't do Q&As. And I told him, well, that's a good idea. I mean, I, I don't know why I don't do Q&As. I probably should. So that was the first Q&A, the, the first question. And I just answered it. So I don't know. Now I'm doing it. There you go. Um, but his other question that he asked, aside from that, was what inspired you to be a YouTuber? Um, and this is kind of an interesting question because there's a lot of people out there who are doing YouTube right now. And... I guess you don't. You can't call yourself a YouTuber until you get like a lot of views and stuff like that, and you start look like, having a certain number of. I don't know what the exact threshold is you have to have in order to be a YouTuber, but um, but yeah, I mean, one of the biggest reasons I started doing this because like for the longest time, um, you know, I would talk with my friends, you know, Bower Kills, JC Mac, um, Maverick. Like we would always talk about like how it's so awesome that people are doing YouTube and like they're doing machinima stuff and like all this other really cool stuff and i was like you know what like i've been saying i want to do this for so long i should just start doing it and see what happens so it really all started with um like i had a couple of videos on youtube uh like months and like years ago but i hadn't really done anything with them i just had i just had them there so that they i would have a place to look at them uh, but i wasn't really advertising anything or really putting it out there so um yeah guy got messed up um I just really wanted to do it. I mean, I I got to the point now in my life where it's like I don't want to keep saying I want to. This guy should have been dead. I don't know how that happened. Um, I wanted to just start doing things. The, the things I said wanted to say I wanted to do. Like I wanted to get the Cintiq, and then I just got the Cintiq. Like I wanted to move out of move into another apartment again, and like I was getting messed up here. Like I don't know why I'm even uploading this. Um, went moved into my new apartment and then like i said oh you know i want to go to japan like i haven't gone to japan yet but i'm making plans to do it like i'm, I'm just doing it there are a lot of things that were on my plate and on my mind of things i wanted to do and i just said i'm just going to do it so um i started thinking about this podcast I was like why don't i start doing a podcast there's so many things i have to say about the gaming industry and about gaming in general like why don't i just do it so i did it um the biggest barrier for that is like just time i didn't have a lot of time and i don't have a lot of time to do a lot of things and my gaming is a lot fewer in between stuff that i do now so i wish i had more time to game and i wish i could be doing this full time but until then i'm going to be hustling and busting my ass as much as i can i'm losing a lot of sleep because of it that guy should have been knife but you know this game um 
Yeah, that guy's emblem is awesome. <laughs> um, let's see. What's the next question? How long does it take you to create your digital paintings? So this is an interesting question because it's a question I used to ask artists all the time. Um, it really depends on what your painting style is. Some people can just take like five hours or three hours to do a full drawing and that's and be done. It really depends on what your style is. Like for a lot of my digital paintings, it takes me at, at least ten hours um, of continuous hours. Like that's you know if I take breaks and stuff like that, it'll be spread apart across many days and many weeks and stuff like that. But um, yeah, that dude sniped the hell out of me from back there. Um, but yeah, it really depends on a bunch of things. So I would say the average is like 10 hours, but um, that's kind of me taking a, a random shot at what that would is. Um, what is your favorite game? My favorite game of all time is Metal Gear Solid. A lot of you already know that. Um, I'm a huge Metal Gear fan. Um, I might do some Let's Plays of Metal Gear, uh, Metal Gear Solid 4 or 3 or even all of them. I'm not sure yet. Um, let me guys, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. What what other games you'd like to see me uh, do Let's Plays of? There's going to be a video of Dragon's Crown going up soon. Uh, let's Plays of that. Um, but yeah, Metal Gear Solid 1 is my favorite of all time. It's just the atmosphere, the characters, the gameplay innovations. Um, the graphics of the time were phenomenal, even though Snake didn't even have eyes or like individual hands. I ran right into that grenade, didn't I? Um, individual hands or anything. So um, it was really... Um, it's really just my favorite game of all time. Like, I have so many memories. Me and my brother used to play that game all the time. And, like, he'd be behind the controller playing, and I'd be, like, the research guy, like, informing him what to do. And, like, yeah, I do tell out the fuck out of me. Um, and I always I always got scared whenever I heard that, that noise for, um, like, the alert sound, like, Bleh! whenever you got spotted by the enemy. I used, it used to always freak me out, no matter what. Like, even to this day, when I hear it, I'm just like, uh, uh. Because, like, when you got caught in that game, like, you were most likely dead. Unless you were really good at getting away. And uh, that's one of the things I do miss about the modern uh, modern shooters and modern stealth games is that even if you do get caught in a stealth way, you're not, you're not completely boned. You still have a chance of coming back and, and just... You have a really big chance of actually killing everyone. And your chances of dying or anything bad happening are very slim. So I do hope they bring a little bit of that, that sense of danger and, and fear back. Um... So yeah, that's my favorite game of all time. How long does it take you to make videos? Um, depends on the video, of course. Like gameplays, for example. I can have the gameplay up the same day, uh, depending on what the gameplay is. But I go back and forth between computers. So I'm still trying to discover the best way to transfer large files of information, of uh, data. Um, so if you guys have good ways of doing that, I don't have a... Um, I should just get a Thunderbolt port. I have a, a work laptop and my uh, iMac 27-inch. Um, that's what I'm using right now in my room. And, yeah. Um, but other videos that take require a little bit more finessing can, you know... Yeah, this is when I started going in. Um, can start going anywhere between, you know, a few days to even a week, depending on what's being edited. Um, so, yeah, let's move on to the next question. Uh, how long have you been drawing? So... I've been drawing, in case you guys don't know, uh, some of the gamers out here who've only seen my gameplay. Um, I, I, on my channel, I also have a lot of art stuff. Um, I just got a Cintiq not too long ago, and I did a unboxing and like a first impressions of that. Um, but I've been drawing since I was like, seriously, since I was like 11 to 12, and I'm 24 right now. I'm about to turn 25 uh, this month. Yeah, yeah. What? What? Um, quarter of a century. Um, so, yeah, it's been about 13 years um, that I've been drawing kind of seriously. And professionally, I've been, I've been making art for, um, for like three years as a professional. Um, anyway, what do you use to edit video? I'm running close on the end of the video. Um, I use Final Cut Pro. I used to work at Apple, so I was able to get the software. Um, I'm not going to explain exactly what what it, that entails, but I was able to get the software. Um, and so, yeah, I, those are the, basically the, the first batch of questions. I hope you guys enjoyed what you saw today. If you did, press the like button and the subscribe button. As always, I'll catch you guys later. Game on. J-Blaze out. Okay, got it. So mad. Fucking JC got... Oh. Yeah. Wait, so who you getting some bucks from? I, got a Do I know it?